Anyway, I'm gonna do a quick how-to polo wrap. Oh yeah. Oh snap. Getting ready for the day. Got Flex Pro Meals. Got a rodeo shirt. Got some Excedrin in case stuff gets real. I'll work on this bun. But we're headed to a rodeo. I'm very excited. This will be my last run on Classy for a while because it looks like baby Flo is almost ready to make a comeback from breeding season. Fingers crossed everything goes well. If not, then I will be riding Miss Classy at a couple more, but I've got some clinics coming up, so it's gonna be a week or two before we get back together. So I'm gonna enjoy this run today so much at Mesquite, at the Championship Rodeo. I'm in Slack. I'm rocking Dreamcatcher Earthing. Look at my merch. I'm sorry for what I said when I was back in the trailer. You can get yours at shopthemerch.com. Don't forget to use your favorite squad members code at checkout for a discount. Here we go. We just got to the rodeo. So my friend and endorsee, Kelly Carrington, is here and we're in her hot pink trailer, which is super dope. Um, she brought Classy over here for me and Classy is going home to her mama's house after this. But Stormy put all my tack together because I was doing stuff and things in Dallas and I couldn't get to the ranch. So I'm gonna show you all the things that I'm using. I am using purple polos. These are by Mustang. I do really like Mustang. Can we talk about this for a second? Like I already hate when people don't do wraps well and there is a gaping place and these wraps look like complete You don't say that. They look like complete <laughs> on their packaging. Like don't that, I can't believe that. Anywho, Mustang, holla at your girl. I got a creative director that would make this a lot better for you. Mustangs are great because they're cheap. They're available on Instagram. They're the right, like, I don't know how to say it. These are too big and fluffy. You can't get your hands wrapped around them. Anyway, I'm gonna do a quick how-to polo wrap. Disclaimer, everybody does this different. I do not want your opinion on how you do it different than how I do it or how your trainer does it different than you do it. Everybody has an opinion on this and everybody thinks everybody else is the gospel and everybody thinks everybody's about to bow attendant if they are not the ones to wrap. So, that being said, I'm gonna show you how I do it on my horses. It will not affect your horses from here at all. So, here you go. This is classy, of course. This is what Stormy put together. So I am wearing Dreamcatcher by Ranch Dressin, the shirt that I already showed you guys. Um, I'll try to put my boots, you guys always ask where I got my boots, I'll try to put those on my Amazon favorites list. But this is a custom breast collar, it's purple and turk, it's so pretty. It's by Rockin' A Custom Leather. I've got my Dreamcatcher saddle sack. This is my sport saddle that I won at the NFR. And this is my purple and turk um, five star pad. This is a three quarter inch square pad, love this. So I'm gonna use purple and turk for my colors. And then this um, design, which I think is so gorgeous, the FT helmet from Troxel. Make sure and use code Fallon at checkout. That'll give you free shipping and a discount on my website at FallonTaylor.com. So I love this number. So step one of polo wraps is wrapping them correctly. I'm gonna hang these out the window as long as it doesn't spook a horse. Or get in water. So what you do is flip this over velcro to velcro and then stick your leg here it is important that you don't do this because that's going to give you a lumpy handful of crap that you cannot make a really tight pretty wrap on you have to make a teeny teeny tiny little roll and then i just keep rolling and there are times like i will just stop oh there are times i'll just stop and give it a tug to make sure that i have a teeny teeny tiny wrap going at the end, sometimes I do it with my hand like this, just to keep it out of the shavings. And then on my way to the horse, I tuck it in like that. And that is the size that I want it, no bigger than this. How's it going? Good. Good to see you. Hey, look at her. <laughs> so this guy's a bulldogger, and he knows my horse from being steer wrestled on. Oh yeah. So, nice. Have you ever have you ever hazed on her? No, they hazed for me on her. Really? Yeah. Does she win you any money? Oh, I just been at KC. She's, oh yeah, she's awesome. And she's so cool. She's going back to her gig after today because I go back to teaching some clinics. So, oh, yeah. but I'm so uh, I feel so lucky to ride her. She just like got a lot of torque, man. Yeah, yeah she's fun. Like she's so cool. Yeah. She's really cool. So you put your wrap like this, and then I always tug just to keep it firm. 
And here's the thing, guys. If this, for some reason, looks like the wrong technique to you, if you are consistent with where you're tugging, you won't harm any ligaments. If you pull one day in a different spot and the next day in a different spot, you're gonna loosen tendons like a rubber band. My advice to you is, if you are inexperienced with polo wraps and you do not have a person monitoring you in person right there to tweak every single thing you're doing um, that doesn't have a ton of experience and do it their way. Like, don't just do it how I told you. Whoever's teaching you, allow them to teach you as long as they are credible and they've never hurt one. Um, I always put an extra one here so I avoid that gap like you saw in the Mustang picture. And in the hind, I start higher than I do in the front. This is just a really quick, cause I'm like about to run in 20 minutes. And I don't have my shirt on yet, so I'm kind of freaking out. But this is what it should look like. No down here, no gaps in the back, a little V in the front. That's what we're looking for is this look right here. Whoever you decide to teach you in person to do this, listen to everything they have to say, practice in front of them until it's absolutely perfect. And don't you dare try this alone without supervision because you could really harm your animal. amazing lady that let me haul with her over here to this rodeo is winning the rodeo with a 15.47 classy and I had some big bobbles at the first barrel completely rider error like how fast did I think I need to go to the first barrel anyway with all that being said we were at 16 oh something 07 08 I'm shocked by how amazing she was like I'm really shocked really really shocked so anyway time to give her lots of love time to give her lots of love and freaks yeah it is her beats to Duro. Yeah, her beats to Duro. Yeah, you didn't see your real mommy now. I know you guys know and love Millie and Earl, but Earl ate my freaking half shaps. So I've been borrowing my friend's English boots when I ride. So on the way home from the rodeo, we stopped by Dover Saddlery. And I'm gonna go in there with my boots and spurs on and all my ranch dressing and get some half shaps. And I have gargantuan sized calves. Like, I have dude sized calves, don't I? Yeah, That's so attractive. Yeah. I'm into it. So, yeah, we gotta take care of that. Went in for one thing, it's like Target. Came out with half the store in the bags. Like tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing a little tack haul business. I'm gonna be going the English route this time. And I will be going through some of the stuff that I found in my closet that I will be doing a giveaway with very soon in the barrel racing world. Days away from baby Flo making a comeback on tour because breeding season is almost over. So I'm excited about that. Time to get our booties home to rest. Okay, we're home. We just made it to the house and that's it for our day. I'm gonna take you around so you can say hi to all the dogs. Okay, and I, you want to do a huggy? Yeah, that's really nice, Annie. That's really nice. You guys gonna Wrestlemania? Yeah, you guys wanna have Wrestlemania? Hi, Harper. Hi, Harper with a funny head. That's nice. That's nice, Harper. Who's? Come here. That's typically how she responds when we call her. Yeah, that's a really nice girl. So we got a few gifts at the clinic that I just did and I'm going to Saskatchewan for another one which I'm really excited. And here is one of the gifts that Aflomi gave me at the clinic. Aren't those so cute? I love those. Plus I got a Pendleton blanket from my Flomi friend, Rochelle, that I'm so excited about. We keep it upstairs and tucked away right by the couch so we can cuddle up and watch movies. Anyway, so great. That's it for today. I am out. It is 103 degrees and we're gonna keep it inside for the rest of the day. Tomorrow I'm gonna jump around, play with Sunday at the ranch a little bit and give you guys a little update on baby flow. So I'm excited about that. Don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein and say thank you to Jesus. See you tomorrow.